Hi, this time we're going to design using FICO a horn antenna. This horn antenna, let's suppose we need it for 10 gigahertz um, X band, and let's say we desire a gain of 18 dBs, more or less. For that, as you can see here, we have a section of a waveguide here, and then we have the aperture far away from the waveguide. So there are some optimum dimensions for this design. This is a rectangular um, horn antenna. Um, this thing, we can browse uh, some tables or make some research. Uh, but for that, we are going to use, I'm just opening here MATLAB, this function called hopt. hopt. This is, a, this is a, a function that comes from Professor Orphanidis. You just type in Google Orphanidis, E-W-A, which is a toolbox containing a lot of nice uh, programs for MATLAB, completely free. Among them, there is this uh, software, this, this script that computes the optimal gain of a pyramidal uh, horn antenna. Um, for this antenna, we need, as you can see here, we have this uh, Wave, this waveguide here, this is the feed waveguide. And since we are working in 10, 10 gigahertz, first thing we need to find out what dimension is, what dimensions are for uh, a, a waveguide operating at 10 gigahertz. And this is another website, just everything RF, waveguide size. We can see here, um, if you browse this list, we have here the uh, WR, where, where is it here? WR90, it, which covers our frequency range that we are interested in. So we just need to write down in millimeters or in inches, it doesn't matter, the dimensions of this waveguide. This is the input data for our hopt function here. So I just wrote down um, a script. As you can see here, I just typed in uh, hopt help. And as you can see here, the input of hopt is the gain and the dimensions of our feed waveguide. And next, it gives us as, help, as output the a, a, B, and R, which is, going back to FICO, A, B, and R. This is what's expected to get this optimum size um, as you can see here, I just run it, I go back to MATLAB here, and we have the dimensions in meters of our antenna. Okay, then how can we do this in FICO? We, first thing, we tell FICO the variables, as usual, A, small e, is the feed waveguide size, millimeters. B is the small size, then 10, 16 millimeters. Um, frequency is 10 gigahertz. This is the design frequency. F min is the minimum frequency we are going to sweep our structure, which is um, 9 gigahertz. F max, we are sweeping all the way to 12 gigahertz. What else? Um, A, B, I just called with this B the dimensions, uh, the dimensions of the mouth, of the aperture. So A, B is um, 0.1094 and NBB is 0.44 and finally RB is 0.995. Again, these last three parameters they came from this age opt here. You just check out this later. They came from here. This is the 
optimum dimensions that produce result in a waveguide with in a horn antenna with 18 dBs of gain. Okay, then we can construct our antenna. Construct, cuboid. First, the cuboid, we select this option here. Um, this is uh, A, largest length, A, B, and it has an uh, overall size of, let's say, 5A, so that the, the, we have enough wavelengths inside the feed, the feed uh, waveguide. Close. F5, we put it here. And now, on this face here, we are going to make our antenna, our aperture. For that, we are going to use the flare. You see the flare is here. The base center, control shift, we select the center of this face here. There we go. And now we just type in A, B, R, B, A, A, B, B. Let's see if you haven't made anything wrong. Oh, it's A, 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 B. There we go. Great. Awesome. Um, we need to make a union, all of these elements. We select this face here, double click, delete. You see it became hollow. We select the other face, delete. And now, as you can see, we can see through the horn. We can see through the horn. And now we select again that last face you see just click with the mouse and go to source load and select waveguide port there we go waveguide port as you can see here there is an arrow fico tells fico knows the energy is supposed to go inwards we select waveguide source we are select we are exciting the structure with a t10 mode fundamental mode only Great. Go back to construction. What else is needed? We can say um, the frequency F min, F max. Let's tell 10 points. And it's nice to use the symmetry to make the simulation shorter. The sim is here. Here, the symmetry in solve run. And here, um, X is this plane here. As you can see, this plane here, we have the magnetic symmetry. Just we call how the fields are for the T10. And Y0, we have the electric symmetry. So if you place all the all the field all the electric field here is 90 degrees to this plane so by doing by setting the symmetries we have a much faster simulation okay um we can make it invisible these symmetries here so display options we just click here in symmetry and we don't see them anymore uh what else we can go to requests and we select far fields 3d pattern and close we can double click uh, right click here and hide um, we can select we can ask for um, currents create a near field let's sample the field on the aperture um, start contour shift click here and click here there we go then we have 21 points 21 points add close let's say we need to see the field on this plane here near field again um like uh, here where is it not like this not like this not like this not like this like this let's sample the field here 
So for that, so for that, let's say we are some sampling here. We use this uh, control shift again, this middle point here to this middle point here. But here we can say that, um, let's say u um, minus a minus 4 times a. And here is the same. 4 times a. And here is correct. Let's go a little bit further, 5. So we get the beginning of this thing here. And let's go with a little bit far from the aperture. That's it's u and here let's put it plus five times a and here um, minus a plus a something like that right just to see the fields we can make it a little bit larger why not here Eight, just to see how the wave develops here let's say 2 times a and here 2 times a you see you can play around and see the size that better fits to you it's it's good to stay away from the from the wave guide from the excitation here because the fields are very intense and for that again we make 21 21 add close um currents what else we can go to the mesh create mesh normal mesh we give it a name or one and you can solve it before we make the validation and we can so, good. so the simulation is finished. We can uh, jump to post FICO. And in post FICO, of course, the first result is we can analyze the far field. The far field, um, we have a couple of messages here. We can, again, in display, turn off the symmetry here. So it's better to see it without it. Um, we can see what is the far field here the far field is really small so we can make it to our frequency of 10 gigahertz um, db and we designed it for 18 we have 20 so pretty close um, we can go back here and make it bigger in this in results size here you see it this is our far field maybe it's too big 80 percent there we go this is the kind of far field we have for 10 gigahertz for 12 gigahertz we can also see it with um, our home cartesian if you drag and drop far field here we see that the in the bs the gain increases with frequency as expected right and we can also see here the near fields first we drag and drop near field two um, we can make invisible the far field just click on the eye icon here and here is the for the frequency of 10 gigahertz not the gain but the thing db instantaneous magnitude we can see for 10 gigahertz how our field develops in animate type phase and there you see 
how is the face? Right, 10 gigahertz. We can also see here, for instance, arrows. This is the electric field. Go back to animate. Right, this is the electric field, magnetic field. And it's nice to see here the pointing vector. Right, pointing vector here. What else? We can see the field on the mouth. New field one. Here we make invisible new field two. And you see new field one. Electric field at 10 gigahertz in dB. We can make it animate with phase. You see a very nice picture how the electric field develops on the aperture. And we can play around, for instance, extrusion. You see here. And here we make it arrows if needed make it bigger and we make the animation at 10 gigahertz there we go you see we always have a maximum amplitude right on the middle this is for the electric field magnetic field is the same and pointing vector. You see how it works for the fields, for the pointing vector on the aperture. Here. It's nice to see the, the currents because it's a waveguide. Currents here. We make invisible this last one here. And this current here, we can make it magnetic field. Oh, sorry, here currents, we can make it dB. And you can make animation in phase for 10 gigahertz. And you can see here that as the wave travels down the horn antenna, we have a smooth transition as the wave travels down here. So here we have the typical waveguide propagation. And because this is a smooth transition, the horn, it provides a nice uh, transition to the electromagnetic wave that propagates. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.